Launching. And this car can just catch itself. There is serious angle in this front end. I would not even ri be like, how? For all your energy innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7 because it is update day. Us drifters have gotten what we've been waiting for for a very long time, and that is angle kits in Forza Motorsport 7. Um, I do have an angle kit on this Veloster because uh, I was curious on what it was like. And it makes the ability to have cars that never had lock before have serious angle lock. So we will definitely be uh, possibly putting some uh, angle kits on some other cars that, you know, are not really designed to have an angle kit. And uh, be seeing how that goes. Now I know we uh, will be building a couple cars with these kits here on episodes to come. So we are going to pick a car that is already you know what no we're not gonna make a car that's already tuned for drifting why not build a new car so let's go buy a car and uh see what forza recommends because we can pretty much build anything now and put an angle kit on it and make this so much better so i'm trying to find determine what i want to put an angle kit on and make a drift car and see what i want to get sliding here today so if you guys have the update I know a couple of people have been posting about it and saying it's a lot of fun and it's insane. So I'm very curious on a car that, you know, I've wanted to drift before but doesn't have an angle kit or didn't have enough steering lock to begin with. And uh, I would like to uh, build that and give it that steering lock that I've been wanting it to have for a very long time. And I'm just I'm just scrolling through all these cars trying to find out what we want to build here today. Cause I'm sure everybody's building Skylines and Nissans and all that stuff. So trying to find something that not everybody has been building. And uh put an angle kit on something else. Like maybe a Porsche. I mean that would be a very good way to test the angle kit out. Hmm, so many cars to choose from now that we have this ability. And, uh, I'm not quite sure which car we're going to run for today. We may run a few different ones for today. But I think we should probably pick a car that is definitely a known drift car and uh, throw an angle kit on it so that we can uh, see the difference. So, a Nissan 370Z, I know does not have a very big angle kit from the factory. Do we want to run Chris Forsberg? Sure. We'll put Chris Forsberg's old paint on here uh, by with stock parts because we are going to tune this 370Z up. And uh, we're going to basically build it, check the lock, put the kit on, and then check the lock again. So we can actually just go into free play right away. And um, I feel like I've done Maple Valley a little bit, so we're going to change it up and probably go, why not go to, hmm, where should we go today? Go to Suzuka Circuit, and then we will go to the tuning and upgrading of the car. And we are going to probably just keep the stock motor in this car, but I believe we are going to twin turbo it. Cram as much power as we can into this car. So I'm going to get this thing modified up and uh, we will go from there. I don't want drag tires. We want sport tires because we're going to probably be running a lot of power out of this. Uh, we're going to go 265s in the front. And we will go with 285s in the rear. 
Not really sure what wheels I want to do. Let's go with those for right now. Trying to do a quick tune on this because uh, I kind of want to get into that drift suspension. But like I said, we are going to leave stock suspension on first. See what the steering angle looks like from the front of the car. And then put the angle kit on and see if it makes a difference. It says it should, so we're going to test that actually today. And uh, then we're going to get sideways with it. And we are definitely going to be building some cars that like say Hyundai Veloster N which has some decent steering angle but not a crazy a lot and uh we could throw that angle kit on there and there it is I see it all the way at the end wise fab the special drift suspension allows you to get to allows you to tune steering angle and it gives us camber too all right so we're gonna go with the race suspension first just real quick for the sake of checking out the the actual angle kit and how it works and see if we can actually see a difference then we will get the angle kit back on start tuning it up and we will definitely get in get the wheel cam on and get everything going we are going to put as much power into this car as we can i'm looking to maybe get 700 800 horse which is easy because of the twin turbos I don't think I want to go that crazy. I think we're going to stay at 728 maybe on some sport tires. Now we're not going to tune the suspension yet because I just want to check this out. So with that said, we're going to go to the track and we're going to check the angle on the front. And then we will uh, also check the angle with the angle kit on. And then we're going to get this thing sideways, have a little fun. And uh, enjoy the new drift mod and the drift scoring system that is now here in Forza Motorsport 7. Definitely super excited about it. So we're just actually going to go start race. Because I want to see the difference in angle. I thought those rims were supposed to be black. I think my... Uh, I think my livery did not transfer over all the way. All right, so that is full lock. You can definitely see not much poke on that wheel. So it doesn't have a lot of lock. So now we're gonna go throw that angle kit on and uh, see what kind of lock we get with that if there's a noticeable difference in lock and see what tuning aspects we can get into with the steering lock. I'm gonna go upgrade, get the suspension, go all the way down to that beautiful drift suspension, which looks like Wise Fab. And then we are gonna go tuning this car. Delivery's kind of messed up, but that's okay. Drop our tire pressures down. Not sure how we're gonna have to be doing this or gearing. I thought I put drift suspension on. Can I not tune? Steering angle on a 350. Oh, I didn't install it. Ha! Huh, get wrecked. There we go. Now we installed it. Wrecked myself. I'm like, wait, I thought we could tune steering angle. I was super sad. There it is. All the way at the bottom, steering angle. We can set it to 60. Why would we take it off? Like, why would we not leave it at 60 degrees of steering angle? I mean, I guess if you want to fine tune your steering angle based on the car i mean you could do it that way we're gonna leave all that there definitely gonna soften it up some and we are gonna lower it more which i feel like this this suspension gets a lot lower actually than the other suspension does than the race suspension it does look like it goes a little bit lower i could be mistaken So we stall the lock on the car with the normal suspension on, and now we are going to go straight into the drift suspension. So we are going to get the uh, the wheel cam turned on here. Get the wheel cam with our Logitech and our G920 wheel, and our Energy Innovations 350 millimeter wheel, hydraulic cam brakes, sequential gearbox, 
So hopefully this makes a bit of a difference. And uh, it's actually a noticeable difference. So let's see if there's a noticeable difference. Oh my gosh. There is a huge difference in lock. There is a huge difference in lock now and there's definitely the new hub on the side for angle, speed, and line. Okay, we definitely gotta rip this car now. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting the car to slide that much. That angle is crazy though. It has so much angle, it can just catch itself. I mean, that's insane amounts of angle. The drifting on this is going to be so much nicer now. I'm, I'm kind of just in awe at how much angle this thing is actually getting. I like the whole speed line and angle stuff on the side. That stuff's really sweet. And so from what I know, there is no specific zones now. So you should be able to get points anywhere on the track and you can. So there's going to be so much more manjing on long straightaways in some of the tracks. The drift scores are going to get so much higher. And this, I, I'm in awe at how much angle this car can actually throw now. So like I said, that's going to make a lot of the cars that didn't have angle before have the ability to have a lot of angle. The Like right there, that was a quick snap to angle. The wheel feels pretty decent though. Even though I thought the wheel was going to feel a little bit weird. But the wheel feels pretty good. The steering is accelerated with the higher angle. But you can definitely dial a tune in for sure. I'm just throwing it all the way out here. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. I feel like we need to hit the streets of Long Beach and run the uh, Long Beach section because the fact that this can just snap lock to lock like that is a game changer for sure. And uh, I feel like I want to throw this angle kit like on my ESDA car. I know I'm going way off track, but I'm just kind of personally throwing this car as much as I can to try and like see the limits of the angle. And it's, it's just right there. Like these things just snap so far over. I feel like some cars may get more angle if the cars did have more angle from the startup. So definitely gonna wanna throw the angle kit on a car that I know has a lot of angle and see the reaction of it on a car that already had angle. I mean, you would not have been able to snap back before on that. So I actually wanna throw this angle kit on a car that I know is tuned very well for drifting and see what the difference is. That's crazy. I'm actually super excited for this. I mean, we would never been able to hold that angle before in any Forza game, I don't think. Maybe in Horizon 3 with the Horizon Edition cars, which had almost a full angle kit on it. So let's go back to the garage, grab one of my uh, new favorite throw around cars, switch the track up, maybe hit the streets of Long Beach or we're in the Long Beach section, but definitely super excited about this angle kit. There's going to be plenty more videos coming out with this angle kit. Definitely going to be getting some open lobbies open so that we can do some tandems and... Uh, going to be hopping into public hoppers and stuff which is going to make public drift hoppers a big thing now as like they weren't before already I'm trying to find where are you 
Where are you, Mazda? There you are. My new favorite throw around car. A little rotary powered monster. So, if you guys have the angle kits, let me know what you guys are using them on. What kind of cars you're using them on. And, uh,. Are you enjoying them? Do you like the new Drift HUD? I, I know I do right now. And, uh... Yep. Okay, thank you. And, um... Yep. Let's do it. 60 degrees of angle. Caster all the way up. I think this was like a 1.3. I'm trying to remember what my settings were on the other suspension. So I'm going to have to start relearning and tuning suspensions again for this style of suspension. But I feel like it won't be as hard because it's, it's the same concept. It's just we have the angle now. Everything else will stay the same. And we're going to save currently. And then we are going to go and... Uh, Head to Long Beach and uh, flip it around and run the Long Beach section. So this car did have a decent amount of angle to start. So I'm curious how what the difference in angle is going to be like now. And it's <laughs> it's definitely a lot more. I mean, you can make a U-turn now. So. We're going to throw the Long Beach section. It's probably not going to register our drift angle or anything because we are going backwards. But I just want to see how this handles. Just a tap. I feel like it's a little bit skatier than I feel it would have been on race suspension and that may just have to do with Maybe the drift suspension gives the cars a little more slide. I could be wrong though. So let's throw it in. And throw it right in the tire barrier. So I do feel like... Maybe it's just me, but it feels like the car slides a lot more being on this drift suspension. So maybe I'm wrong or not. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think maybe it does? But the fact that we can get points here on any part of the track now, I should be monging these straights. The reverse entries are going to be so much more intense now. I feel like you could actually, did they remove that feature where if you go almost 90 degrees, you lose your points? Let's see. They still have that where you would still lose your points in a reverse entry. So they didn't fix that. I feel like they are allowing you to get more points though in angle. Oh, they are definitely allowing straight line manjis though so that's going to make tracks like Daytona and those other tracks that don't have much um, many turns it's going to make those tracks higher point scorings and I do feel like this suspension is making this car a lot more slipperier uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below do you guys think I'm do you guys notice that the car seems like it slides a little bit more. The good way to test that would be to throw this suspension on say my ESDA car, which I've run on this track before. And I know how much it slides. So we're gonna test that because I feel like this is sliding a lot. We're gonna throw the suspension on the ESDA car and uh, give it a shot here at Long Beach because I did run the Long Beach section in ESDA. So I kind of know how the car reacts. Get 
get that com get that Camaro out and then we are gonna tune it up we are gonna throw the drift suspension on the car now I gotta go back and go to all my cars that I've tuned and uh, throw all drift suspension on all of my tunes so I will be doing retuning a lot of cars to try to get the drift suspension down pat 60 degrees of angle knock that down a little bit it may have something to do with the soft suspension or not it could also just be me being crazy but I am very curious if it because it does feel like it slides a little bit more than it did before and if that's the case then they've adjusted the uh, the physics a little bit for the drift suspension which I guess wouldn't be a bad thing but then again it also could uh, make for some very interesting tandems so the ESDA car I've run here before I had some good runs so we'll see if this skates more than I feel like it did before but that angle is right there I feel like we could still do a u-turn yep so with this update comes a lot of possibilities now like I said with cars that didn't normally have angle we will be able to have angle with and we'll be able to catch very high angles like that So it makes me wonder. Oh, this car handles so much better now. I really wish I would have had this suspension way before, but we knew it was coming sooner or later with the fact that they have DFD car pack and everything coming out. So we knew it was bound to hit. It was bound to hit the game soon. Yeah, the car is definitely a lot more loose and it slides a lot more now that must mean there's a different tuning setting that we're gonna have to start messing with when it comes to using this drift suspension so that's definitely something that I'm gonna have to uh, dabble in and figure out exactly what the uh, difference that we would have to throw in would be because yeah the cart would normally not slide that far out into the track so there is a different feel to this suspension so it's definitely going to be a learning curve and definitely going to have to uh, adjust tunes where the tunes before I was running are not going to really it'll work but I feel like there is a little bit of a difference that needs to be changed so I just wanted to head on here have a little look at the drift suspension definitely gonna be getting more into the drift suspension here as the episodes go on so you guys know you can follow me on Facebook twitch Twitter and Instagram all of which is found in the description box below as well as I will be bringing torque drift beta content how do we not hit that wall torque drift beta content as well to the channel there is that as well coming more and more with the beta coming closer and closer to close to the game being released so hopefully you guys who have that are enjoying it. I think I'm getting kind of a feel for it now. I thought I could e-brake that all the way. So wheel users are definitely going to be able to... See that? That's very slippery. Wheel users are definitely going to be able to capitalize from this drift suspension for sure. Because the ability to fine tune it and I feel like controller users are gonna snap angle to angle really quickly so but the wheel physics feel really good though even though we're going in a the steering radius is a lot quicker because of uh, the increased angle That's a little better. But we can grab that and almost crab walk that final turn. 
So like I said, just a little quick look at the suspension. I will be doing way more in on this suspension here, getting into tuning more cars so that I can fine tune some of my suspension settings for cars that I've already had, build some new cars, build some cars that uh, I never thought would ever see the light of day when it comes to drifting, but they will now that we can do serious angle lock. I should have lost my points for that. That's one thing they didn't fix. So that's a bit of a bummer, but the angle, speed, and line. Not sure what they're judging line based off of. I wonder if they're judging it off the racing line. But the angle and the speed, I'm also not sure how they're judging angle and speed, or line and speed. I know how they're judging angle. So I feel like we're gonna try and manji this straight because we can and we can get all the points now. That actually wasn't bad. That actually worked out pretty well. And I feel like we could actually link an entire track, which is one of the things they were talking about. And we're gonna try to take this as long as we can. Well, I kinda, I kinda got scared there. So you can link entire tracks now. That's gonna make drift lobbies so much more intense with the ability to just throw it and keep keep points going as long as you keep the car manging back and forth and transitioning and keep it in a consistent time frame because see right there I lost it but if I keep it manging and this car can just catch itself there is serious angle in this front end I would not even ri be like how that's insane right there is insane and a testament to this wide angle kit so as you guys know you can find can follow me on Facebook switch Twitter and Instagram all of which are found in the description box below so until next time guys I like thank you guys for watching just a tap I'm Evil Rabbit. This is so much fun. <laughs> I'm out. Look at that. That's crazy. It almost crab walks.